Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to PatternBud, the latest app released by Gem All K. It's a MIDI CC sequencer, really nice, with multiple tracks. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe, as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, to use PatternBud, you need a, a UV3 host. So in this case, I'm going to use a UM. I'm going to create a MIDI channel and also an audio channel. And then in the audio channel, I'm going to search for Xeon. Really nice synth. Okay, I'm going to connect it to my external MIDI controller. I'm going to open it. Now make it a poly and also adjust a little bit the amplitude. Okay, really nice. Next, I'm going to load pattern bud as a MIDI processor. So I start to type pattern pad, there it is, and then I make the connection. Okay, so this is pattern bud, as you can say, as you can see, it's a very simple UI. So you start from the very top, you have the um, track name, track one, which will transmit CC number 10 on channel number one. And then you have four step. Each step has the duration of one bar and then it's sending a value, a CC value. The first one sends the CC uh, 10, value one, the second value two, and so on and so forth. You can click on the plus sign here to add steps, of course, and you can click on the plus sign underneath to add additional tracks. Then underneath here on the bottom left, you have the usual patterns. You can add patterns and you can use, in this case, CC number 10 to change from one pattern to the next. On the bottom right, you have settings. You have these cog settings, which is typical of applications from um, Gem. And um, inside here, you have the track count, which you can increase. You then, for each track you have created, you can change the name. You can change the CC message. So in this case, let's say 14. With the channel number one is fine. And then for track two, let's say number 15, which are not utilized or defined. Then underneath you have the um, CC message that you need to send to change pattern and also the MIDI channel. Then you have at the very bottom a link to a tutorial and also the version. Okay, let's click done. As you click on um, each step, you can define the value which will be sent. So let's increase this, for example, to something like 20. It doesn't have to be precise. You can change the duration from bar, bits, note value in seconds. Let's choose seconds. And then you can change the amount up and down. Okay. And that is not strictly true um, in terms of not all the type of duration will also allow you to go uh, to drop uh, uh, below one, but you can definitely increase. Then underneath you have a number of actions, which is really powerful. You click on add a new action and you can say jump to a step and you can decide which track and which step. Or you can say randomize the number of steps played for which track. Then you can change the pattern. Okay, you decide which pattern you want to change to. You can randomize also the pattern. And then ultimately you can also send the CC message and you can you can select the CC number here, the value, and also the mini channel. So really, really nice. Of course, if you're not happy with all of that, you can also remove the step, click remove the step. And in this case, you go back to what it was earlier on. So let's readjust these to something like 20, like so, and then the duration seconds, and let's press. Okay, and you can see that that has changed there. So let's change now the second step to something like 40. And there we are, and type of duration second as well. And let's change the third step to something like probably 60 as a value. So we're almost there. There you go. Doesn't have to be precise, 62 is okay. And type of duration um, seconds. And then let's change also the last one to something like um, 80, or around 80 as a value. And I will explain in a moment why like so and then again type of duration seconds perfect next what i want to do is to go on the settings here for zero and click on the midi control decide the source which will be pattern bud and then let's go back to the midi controls and then underneath here i'm going to choose a parameter which is exposed and i'm going to map it to that cc message number um 14. okay so let's see filter cutoff will do so we're going to enable cc message we are going to say number 14. okay 
So let's see if this works. We click play and you can see it is changing the cutoff here as uh, uh, pattern bud is actually playing. So let's uh, minimize this a bit, like so. Actually, let's move this one a little bit further down, like that, and this one, like so. So uh, let's try to play some chords. <laughs> really nice of course you can stop that and you can for example act on the second track so let's say for example um this sends message 15 we're going to choose the type of duration one bar leave that as it is and then we're going to choose for example as value why not we choose something like uh, uh 30 33 there let's leave it as a bar for now then the next one, we are going to choose something like perhaps a double A60. Uh, there it is, something like that. And then on the next one, perhaps 80. Almost there. Like that. Okay. And then the last one, why not we bring this up to around 100. Okay. Almost there. Perfect. Okay, and then what we are going to do, we're going to close these uh, two windows and we're going to assign that um, MIDI control to the corresponding CC message. So in this case, why don't we go for filter resonance? So, and we set these to actually um, 15. So let's open up this one, click play, and now play on the external MIDI controller. <laughs> And you can see here that the resonance is playing as well, is moving up corresponding to the second track which is selected here. Of course, um, this is um, just at the beginning. You can add additional uh, tracks, you can define additional patterns. And as I mentioned earlier on, in a particular step, you can also add an action and therefore you can actually uh, make and the whole thing a little bit more fun and of course more complex as, as well and of course um this works on cc messages what so what becomes very important is the type of uh, parameter which are exposed by that particular um in this case synth that we are using in this case for zeon there are a lot and of course, you can load more than one instance of Pattern Bud. And then, of course, you can also combine Pattern Bud to uh, the other Bud's application from Gem OK, which becomes even more powerful. OK, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoy uh, the tutorial. See you next time. Bye.